Hello, and welcome back to Soy April. So, I have another team haul. So, I figured I'd show the rings first, like usual, because we all know I have a problem. So, anyways, I have some really gorgeous ones this time, and I hope the camera picks up. I had seen this orange one, and I thought, I don't know, I love it. It's really beautiful. And then this blue heart, it's really pretty. And then this one... I just decided to wear that one as like a wedding ring because mine, I switch mine out all the time anyways. And then, oh, so this yellow one, and then this one, and then I got this angel wings. Okay, and then I have a dragon's eye, and then a purple. And then this one's really beautiful too. I did not think I was going to like it, but I love it. And I ordered, I actually ordered two of these. Um, they're the Good Luck Clovers, and they have like a little diamond on the side. Um, I did not realize they were one size. So they only fit my pinky, and I don't really feel comfortable with it on there. So there's that. And then this one's like a light green. And this one, when I got it, I actually had got the last one on the site for the time. But look how beautiful that is. And then this light blue one is very pretty. And yes, I have a lot of blue rings this time. And let's load up some more. Okay, and I got a good luck necklace. Let me put that on. Okay, that's cute. And I got my husband the skull neck skull ring. <laughs> and then I thought that was so pretty. I thought it was actually gonna be a little more rounder. It's really flat. But it's very pretty. And then this one it's like a crown with some emerald. Very, very pretty. And this one, cat just fell on the teeny bag. And then I thought this one was like, it reminded me of the stones of like the infinity stones, but it's not. <laughs> and then that one, I thought that's pretty. Kind of reminds me of like Maleficent. And I got this bracelet, and I have a really tiny wrist, but. Uh, it does not, like, you can't open it. So, definitely for a child, I'm going to send that to my granddaughter because you can't stretch it. And if she breaks it, it's fine. I'll let her mom know that. Okay, so I got my husband a dad ring because, you know, Father's Day is coming up soon. I don't know how well that's showing. And then this one is the Infinity Stone. The only thing is, is they, the size on it was way too big. So, it has all the little stones. And it says, um, Mind, Power, Power, Mind, Soul on the sides. So, I tried fitting it on my fingers and it's way too big. It won't fit nothing. So, it does fit my husband, and he said that he will wear it, so we'll see if he actually does. Um, and then I got this one. Really pretty, simple, and this one's really elegant looking. Nice, deep burgundy. And then my favorite one of all, this blue. Oh my gosh. On the website, it looked like a sky blue, like that light one I showed earlier. But I looked at the videos and pictures of the um, people that posted and oh my gosh. I was like if it's that color I will definitely take a chance that it's two dollars and it's that beautiful. And then the last one is a crown. So yeah, very very pretty. Okay, and now last time I showed y'all that I have a treasure box on my thrift haul and I put my stamping blocks in it 
and I thought, oh, I saw these and they were originally a dollar and they were on sale for 28 cents and I was like, oh, okay, maybe I could throw my rings in those. That might be kind of fun, you know. 28 cents. You get what you get. And I got two because I thought, oh, I have a lot of rings. So, I just put these in here just, just to, like, take these rings off, but this is not going to work at all. So, I might, I think I might actually send one to my granddaughter, too, so that way she has a little treasure chest. Okay, and I don't really have an order and everything, so I'm just going to kind of randomly show what I got. I got some bra extenders, because why not? I think they were, like, 28 cents. Um, I got these horse patches for my granddaughter, and I'm mailing that with her, um, horse folio that I probably already have on the, um, channel that I did, but her mom can put these, they're iron-ons, she could put them on a jacket or a hat or pants, I just thought they were very pretty, oh look a mommy and a baby, so I'm going to send that with her, and then I got a free gift, because you know sometimes they give you a little offer and you get either five dollars off or a free gift so I got a free gift and I'm gonna send this to my oldest daughter because I I know she loves gnomes and I think she's gonna love it I didn't tell her what it was I just said something in the package is pink it's yours so I think she'll love it and let's see oh I got me a beading tray for when I do my beads because I have two but the one I like, which is about this size, is like all broken up. So, yeah, I think after like 20 years, I need a new one. So, there's that. Um, oh, my favorite thing I got. <laughs> okay, so if you don't know, I am a huge Adams Family fan. Huge. Like, I have always watched like the original Adams Family anytime, like when I'm sewing or when I'm feeling down or whatever, I love the Adams Family. So, when I saw this on there, I think I paid like six, seven dollars. I was like, yes! It's Thing! And, oh my gosh, now, what's kind of weird is, it's really soft. Like, I was thinking it was going to be, um, like ceramic or something like that, or, pla or hard plastic. No, it's really soft and squishy, so, I don't know. Kind of cute, huh? And the funny thing is, the way they packaged it. So, they had them in this box, and I thought, I'm going to decorate the box to make it look like the one on the Adams Family. So, yeah, I think that is just so cute. Definitely, definitely love that so much. Okay, and then I got my husband some stuff. Um, it's supposed to be some kind of a thing where you can use it on different size wrenches and it you can, you can adjust it and make it work. So, thought he might like that. And then I also got him this thing. And one end hooks up to the drill and the other end hooks up to your socket bit thing and you can like bend it so like if you're trying to screw something underneath the shelf you just put it in there to where you don't have to worry about the drill getting in the way you just put your little thing there and you can get it right away so I thought that might be really nice for him to have um, and then for me I need some more gardening shears and I got the bright yellow so I don't lose them because I lose everything but my other ones were getting really bad um, I had a lot of roses and then the weather killed them but yeah so I'm excited to use that and this one I think it was like 28 cents and I was like why not it's a collapsible funnel. I don't know if I have it out all the way. 
but I thought that would be fun for in the kitchen for for something I don't know what I just see 28 cents and I'm like why not you know and then for crafting I've seen a lot of people use um, heat guns and so I got me a heat gun I think I paid like five or six dollars and yes it works and it works really nice and then I got some more ink which y'all know these work um, I haven't tried this one out but those ones work I wouldn't say necessarily they're the best but they work like I'm trying to figure out what the stamp designs are going to look like they definitely show that so that's good um, then I got one of these <laughs> It has a comb and then the scissors so you can trim your eyebrows. So um, maybe I can talk my husband into letting me do his. He's got like a uni brow thing going on. I don't know. But yeah, that would be really nice. And then, let's see if I can take a few of these out. And I'll just share a few of these that are I noticed right on top that are gorgeous like oh my goodness these are so beautiful and they're definitely going to go in my garden or my fairy journal so I'm going to have some flowers with the fairies and yeah I'm finally able to start that since my granddaughter has her journal then and this I didn't realize this was so tiny I think I need to start looking at the sizes of things I thought this would go good with my Bohemian journal whenever I make it. I just didn't realize that the pictures were going to be microscopic. But I'll still use them. I I don't think it cost me that much anyway, so it's fine. It's fine. Um, let's see. Alright. Um, okay. And then these, I think I got these for my rings too because I was just in a mood ready to like organize everything so I thought oh this will work except for like the really tall rings but hey I can try to organize it right alright and then I got this for my husband but <sighs> apparently I should have like really upsized I didn't realize his feet were that big and so I'm going to go on to my sister Sherry, the one that likes to go fishing. And they're like protectors that you put over your shoes. So when you go to the lake and stuff, your shoes and your feet don't get all wet and gross. So I thought she might like that. I already asked her. She said she'd take it. So there you go. And then I got these. I haven't tried them out, but I don't really know what I need them for. I see people use them, and I'm like, oh, I need it. So it's a pen that you put water in, and you can use it to, like, paint with water. Um, I think with, like, watercolors, and I did get some water crowns for my birthday and I thought oh that might be you know something I could use with it too so yeah there's that and then I got this for my car I have a hard time see if I can figure this out okay just snap that piece on there oh and it's just a teeny little microfiber <laughs> like a little um looks like a shower curtain cap anyways you use it to clean the inside of your car window on the inside which yeah I need to clean mine it's gross I don't smoke or anything but it still gets dirty all right oh and this I got this for my medicine and vitamins and basically vitamins that I have on my chair I thought oh this would be a great idea 
Well, it came busted. So, I'll show you the top. I don't know how well the light's showing it. So this whole thing's busted there, and it's busted along the side. So, I sent them the pictures of it, and they're going to give me a net. Well, they gave me my money back within like a minute. But, I figured I could try to fix it with some epoxy or something. And just to let y'all know the size of it. But I'm pretty sure I can still get it to work. I did order another one that has the red. So I might use this one for crafting now. I don't know what I'm going to put in it. But I'm sure something. And if it's for crafting, it doesn't matter. I can just cover that up with tape even. I don't care. You know, I'm not that picky. And then, okay, I got two of these. I didn't know when I got them that they had all these little trays in here. I think I was thinking, oh, I might use those for rings too. I don't know. Um, oh, and that's what that other one I said I was going to use for rings. I think I was going to use that for those roses I got from my thrift haul. The container was busted. I might use those for that, and I might use one of these for rings. I got two of these, but I feel like I don't need to show y'all both. I have one of these I've had for years and years, and I love it. It doesn't have the little plastic things, but I keep my batteries in it. So I have like the the AA and the um, 9 volt here, and then the um, no the AA, AAA, and like the 9 volt and or any other odd ones I keep on the bottom so yeah I really love these kind and this one feels pretty good you know it feels pretty decent so there's that I was in a lot of a storage mode that day and then this I got for crafting and oh it's all one piece I don't know really what I want to do with it I mean, it looks like it'd be a really good, like, necklace even. I don't know. I thought it was bigger, and I thought I could just, like, cut and glue some. It might go on one of my journals. I have no idea. don't know. Oh, and then I got this. This came in a two-pack, and I thought, oh, this would be good to put some of my um, ephemera in, like my butterflies or something. I didn't realize how tiny they were, so, yeah, I don't know. We'll see. I might order more. I might get something else. I don't know. I'm still trying to work on how to organize all my paper stuff, so if you have any ideas, let me know. Um, and then I have some, I'll show the fabric stuff, and then I have a paper book and dies and lots of stamps again. So, I got this gorgeous lace, and I thought this would go really good in like a Victorian journal. Just so beautiful. And I don't know what I'm going to use these fabrics for. I just thought they were really pretty. Um, very, very pretty. So, here's one. And I want to say, let's see the size. They are... Mm, almost 10 by almost 10. So I think they're supposed to be like 10 by 10, but they don't quite hit the mark. And then there's a stripe and a light gingham and then a hot pink polka dot. Oh, I know what I was going to use this for. I was going to add these to my granddaughter's quilt to make it, um, she wants a tie-dye type quilt. And after I'm done with my um, Dream Big quilt, which is the one I'm working on now, I will be making her quilt. So, I think I just thought these would be a nice little whoops, pop of color. They're very pretty. Although, I might have to get another one just to... Y'all saw that one. Just to show them in there together. But, yeah, I thought that was really pretty. And then these 
Oh my gosh, these are really, really beautiful. They're handkerchiefs. Oh, you get two. Okay, so you get two of the same one. So there's that. And like I said, it has two. And then here's the pink one. I honestly was thinking, oh, that would be really pretty to like attach them and use them on a curtain but I don't really know where I'm going to do that at my kitchen I just remembered that I have some cherry fabric and I've always wanted cherry curtains and I was like why don't I use that I don't know why I haven't used that so yeah okay so oh I have threads so I have not tried these threads but I got that and then I got this one I think Pam from Made by Pam had that one so I'm gonna try the threads out and I'll let y'all know how that goes I did also get okay you can get a customized stamp <laughs> it's so cute too and you open the bottom off and it has whatever you want it to say. I got mine for my my YouTube channel, so April. And it's supposed to be for fabric. I did test it on fabric. And I found out that if you put it on a surface that's wet, it totally ruins it. So then I stamped it on one that was decent and is it looked beautiful then I went ahead and washed it because I thought well that's the point of it it's supposed to be washable and it's still there but it's kind of fading and like blurring a little so you know it just depends I probably would use it for paper anyways I just thought it was cool to have my logo on a stamp so yeah um and then I have a paper pad, and this one is more steampunk. Let's see if this is the name. Vagrant Jazz, uh, a Wandering Jazz British Punk. So, I haven't looked at these, so they're not organized in the correct way. I can already tell you that it's going to be off. So, there's that. And another kind that look like wallpaper there's some like uh, little cards try not to get in the shadow and here's some like words and phrases and stuff and like little locks on the bottom and here's like a little book and a book cover some clocks. My plan is just to use it in my steampunk journal because I think it reads a lot steampunk. Looks like a little map and then there's these and then there's the really cool lady the little steampunky stuff and then London that's definitely steampunk right there and then there's a atlas type map and then like a little keyhole like you lost something so yeah there's that okay I did also get a 3d embossing folder for my steampunk journal and then I almost forgot I did get this lace too. If I can find the end of it. So very pretty. Very delicate. Okay, now to the dies. Alright. Got an owl. I thought that would be cute in my fairy journal. And I got this one. I've been wanting one like this for a while that has like where it looks like a belt and then like there's little buttons and stuff. I thought that would be fun. And 
I'm not sure if this is fairies or just butterflies, but I'll figure it out whenever I do. I use one. Well, fairy. And then a uh, mushroom house. Oh, I got an owl for my steampunk. And then I got a little band aid with a little hearts and stuff. I need to make my sister a card. Some buttons for my sewing journal. Here's a heart with hearts in it. Okay, I really thought these were going to be a lot bigger. I did not pay attention to the size. So, yeah, totally going for my steampunk, but they're really tiny little keys. And this, I thought, oh, that is so pretty. This is a beautiful flower. Okay, so this one is definitely fairies. And the dye actually looks pink, so that's kind of cool. I like that. And then now we're on to stamps. I got this cute little girl and I don't think I'm gonna take the stamps out of the packages right now because you can kind of see them. There's fairies. And then this one is like um butterfly and like specimen type stuff. This one is, oh, little owls, little baby owls. Oh, maybe you can help that way if you can see the little faces and stuff. And then my other daughter loves bumblebees. I thought, I'm going to throw some in my journals too. And then some like film strips. thought that would be fun. And then we got some tickets. And then we got this really cool dude here with all these little things. I thought he'd look good on my steampunk journal. And the same as him, um, he kind of reminds me of that guy on those old Disney movies. Um, I don't remember his name. Anyways. And this one, I must have messed up because it was supposed to be butterflies and apparently it's some kind of weird tarot stuff so I don't know I probably will never use that and I'm going to see if someone might want that because I don't really use that type of stuff okay and then I got this one for my mermaid journals a mermaid and then some seashells and um, seaweeds and turtles and all that kind of stuff and then there's another one with like tickets and numbers and amusement stuff and luggage and I thought that was cute and then I love this one with the swirls I thought oh I can use that for my Victorian journal which I use some of them on my granddaughter's horse journal too and then I got some can't even see those. Like this has the the flat piece and then the stem of it to go in your ear and then you just glue your resin piece here and then it has the backs so you can make your own earring studs. So I thought I might have to try that. That might be fun. I had bought this little um, toy for my cats and it like spins around with a laser light and if I can get my daughter to help me do a little video on that, I will go ahead and upload it at the end. So, yeah. If, if I can find it, it'll be in here now. Okay, so I forgot two things. And I will go ahead and share those now. One, I got this for my cats. And it is so adorable. It has a laser light. And it circles around. It is so cute. And if it, like, 
Like, if they topple it over, I think it, like, rolls back, my daughter said. Um, I'll try to have video if I can get them to play with it. They wouldn't yesterday, so we'll see. <laughs> Sorry, got feather flying everywhere. Um, and then, I also got this shirt. It says, let's see if I can show it. ADHD Highway to, hey, look, a squirrel. And it's really big. Um, I got the 4X because I wasn't sure with their sizes. I didn't know if they were like China size and like really small. Um, I probably could have fit the 3 and still been really loose, but it's fine. I like really baggy shirts for around the house, so yeah. So, anyways, I hope y'all have a very blessed day, and I will catch you next time. Bye.